The bones tell you everything about human history. We are left with the imprints of past evolutionary traits on our bodies today, and that's super cool. So you can find out when walking occurred, when big brains occurred, when we started eating differently. That order is displayed in the fossil record, and that's so important to how you find out what goes on. My project is an investigation into how the anatomy of the foot vary within different human groups. I'm not sure what the difference is yet, but the numbers just show me that there is a difference, and that's quite exciting to find out what it is. And so I'm on like the sort of the precipice. Anthropology is about the study of people, so looking at the differences and the similarities between how living people are, what they do. We're one of the very few that mixes biological and social anthropology within the same programs. Anthropology and zoology are both based within the Department of Life Sciences, so that links us together because we're both studying living things. Some of the research that I do involves working with parkour athletes, so I'm interested in the movements and the energy expended during movements of all sorts of different animals. Through the physiology labs we can study a lot about animals in general by studying our own bodies. We emphasise doing science. Because of the fact that we're all researchers who are active in doing this, we try to develop the same sorts of skills in our students. The nice thing about being in Roehampton is you have, I think, the best of both worlds. So you're in London, but we're also right on the periphery of London. Every lecture, I, my pen never leaves the paper because you're just writing down everything they say. I didn't think I'd be able to get to do this sort of research until like PhD and now I'm here as an undergrad already doing it and that is super exciting for me.